In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an item detail block and why it's so powerful. And I'm also going to show you how to set up a linked list in software to show you related records to whatever detail page you're on, a super powerful and helpful feature within software. But first, let's get started with item detail block. And I want to talk about a high level problem. Let's say you need to build a thousand company profile pages. Do you approach it in one of the following ways? A, you create a thousand pages each page for one of the company profile pages, or B, you create one page and pass the data for a thousand different companies to that page. The answer is B. We create one page in software using our detail block, which allows you to take all that data and to pass one record, whatever record you click on to that related page. And the detail block will show the data for that specific company page that you clicked on. And that's the power of a detail block and why software is so powerful. You can build these dynamic applications in a very quick way. Even though you need a thousand pages, you really only need to build one page. All right, let me show you how this works. Here we are in our company's listing here for our CRM template. Now, if I go to click on this, I'm gonna see the related record being opened up here. Now on this side, we have a detail block. And on this side, we have linked lists. Let me show you how to set up the detail block first, and then I'll show you the linked list. So with the detail block here, what's really happening is we're clicking here. It's passing data for that related record here. Now, if we go into studio, we go into the company details, we could see that this detail page. So I have the detail block right here. I can see item details, list details. It's configured by my database using the company called tables, right? So if I want to show data for a company, in a specific item detail block. The item detail block needs to have the same data type. So if it's a company, then I need to store the item detail block as company as well. So in this case, it's company. Now, I don't need any conditional filters because software is smart and does this behind the scenes for you. So the way software does this is if you go into companies, it looks at your actions and takes care of this automatically. And so expand button on hover, we have open, and then it'll open the company's detail page. Or for the item detail button, we can show that it's going to open the company detail page. Now, let me delete this and just show you how to build this. So add item button, open detail page. And when you go to open detail page, you should see the page that you need to open here. Now note, if you don't see your page here, that means that in your application, you don't actually have a detail block that relates to that data source. So what I mean by that is right now, this is a company data source. If I don't see this page here, it means that nowhere in my application is there an item detail block with the company data source. So in order to fix that, you need to go and create an item detail block, configure it to your company data source, refresh the page and try this again, and then you'll see company details exposed, okay? So now that we have it here, let me show you how we can open it uh, by going to this dedicated page. I'm going to go open to the dedicated page. Now we see that we're on this page here. And I want to point out the record ID up here. Because the record ID is how software figures out which data to show in this detail block, right? And so when we clicked on that related company data, it passes this data via the URLs automatically. Something smart software does behind the scenes automatically for you. But it's important to note that if you remove this, and you try to load a detail page, you're going to get this error showing at the bottom. And it essentially says, software detected that you want to show a detail page, but you haven't given us any data to show in this detail page. So in order for this experience not to break, we automatically added a random detail piece of data here to make this experience work for you. However, you can see that it's now a different record. It was randomly added there, and that's not how we need to do it. So you can go back into the company page, and go back into the detail that you want to show in order to get there. All right. So that's important. That is record ID that is happening behind the scenes. Now, let me show you linked lists and why these are so important. First off, it's really cool to be able to have additional details in different database date tables showing up on that detail page. So in this case, these are all the deals that StarTech Enterprises is currently in the midst of, right? These deals are very specific to Stark Tech and don't belong to anyone else. Same thing with contacts. These are all the contacts that belong to Stark Tech, right? 
by using linked lists, it allows you to build really beautiful and functional detail pages like this. Let me show you how to do it. So we're going to go into our detail page here and we're going to go down here to our linked list. And so this is a list block. We're using the software databases. And for this one, we want to show deals. So this table is deals. Now, the key thing here is the conditional filter. By adding a conditional filter, saying that we only want to show deals that relate to this record, then it will only return the deals that relate to this record. And Softer, when on the item detail page, automatically exposes the current record. Let me show you. So if we click on if the deals, so this is the, from the table deals, and then you can click on any of these fields. Right now, this would be the company name field. So I'm going to say company name includes exactly, and then we'll get out of here and say the current record name. So what that essentially means is that this is the current record, all right? And the name of this current record is the company name, the way that we structured this in our database. And by showing the only the deals that belong to this company, as you can see in our database here, if we go deals, it belongs to this company, and that's the name of the company. That will allow us to only show the related records in a list field like this. Now, let me show you a way that you could double check that this is working. We're going to go to content. We're going to go to right here. We're going to add and we're going to do company right here. And we're going to go in here and we're going to say related company. All right. So now by doing this and we'll preview it over here. But now by adding this, we'll be able to make sure that the related company is the one that actually is for the current record. All right. So right away, we could see Vandalay Industries, and it's only showing deals for Vandalay Industries. That's, that's what a linked list is and why it's so important. Let's just double check. Let's go to companies. And now let's go back to StarTech Enterprises. We'll open it up and we'll see that now StarTech Enterprises, we only see deals related to StarTech Enterprises, right? So that's how you can use an item detail block, the power of the item detail block, and how you can add linked lists into those detail pages to bring even more functionality to your software application. Now, this is our CRM use case, but you could do item details and linked lists in any type of use cases. So whatever you've got going on over there, you can do it with this, and it's a really powerful way to build your applications. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we can't wait to see what you'll build with linked lists and item detail pages with your software applications. I'll talk to you later.